Hey everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Black. And uh, this part we're actually going to go into the uh, Nimbasa City Gym, which uh, looks like a like an using amusement park. And yeah, uh, Alessa is the gym leader, and um, you know she uses obviously electric type Pokemon. And I'm going to tell you, this gym is not going to be fun for me. Because how many electric type, how many electric Pokemon have you seen? It's just the uh, the zebra at this point. I don't think you've seen anything else that's electric. All right, so let's heading on to the gym here. Yeah, this gym is a it's a roller coaster. It's kind of an interesting design. Now I get some more fresh water here. Yeah, now he says, uh, you know, ground works against electric, which is true, but there's going to be a little bit of a, a twist of this. And that's what will make this gym very difficult for me. Uh, you might want to put your amulet coin on here, because uh, you're going to find you'll get a ton of money from this place. Wow, how'd you know I was from Nuvema Town? Huh. And so this trainer has a uh, Molga, which we've never seen before, and this is a major problem for me because this thing is electric and flying. Uh, yeah, so it basically repels off my ground types, so, um,. I mean, seriously, this is not going to be good. Not great. Setting those stupid double teams here. And this thing has static for its ability, so to make it even more annoying. The good thing with Rock Tomb is that this thing is a distance-based move. So I don't have to worry about static here. Now this is gonna be really bad because this Amolga, you know, if it's electric and flying, you, you can look at my team and see how many of my Pokemon are weak against this thing. In fact, the only thing not weak against it is my Super Jaws. Oh, finally, a good move here. After learning some crappy moves, oh, now we get some, now we're getting to the elite moves here. Skipping bite, we're going straight for crunch here. Brilliant move here. I mean, I'm gonna just take out assurance. It's probably not gonna be that useful. Uh, crunch is very high yield for. Uh, in general. Okay, another Molga here. Now, again, I know this thing has static, and, uh, it's our last Pokemon here. You know what? I might just go straight for the crunch here. Um, you know, I'm slower here. Uh, luckily, Pursuit does nothing. I mean, if I get... My Super Jaws gets paralyzed, I'll just heal it up. That's fine. Oh, a lot of money there, look at that. I don't know how much they drop, it's like a... It's like 160 bucks a level or something? That's a lot of money. And doubled up, it's like a... Get back all your money that you spent at the stores here. Uh, so what you do is step on those switches and they change the course of these tracks here. Um, on these roller coasters. Uh, it's pretty linear, so basically you gotta step on all the switches, so... No real tricks here. Very interesting design of the gym, though. Oh, good. Zebras. 
much easier to take out, so... As ground-type moves do work here. And if you notice the outside of the gym is like... It looks like a big, fancy, colorful building. It's not like a building with like the word gym in front of it. So again, a good, good job that they... Uh, you know, they've made the gym just like any other building. It's not like a stereotype design here. And, uh, ooh, 8,000 bucks, all right. I think that was 8,000 bucks. And again, you know, you want to hit the, you know, press each switch to, uh, change the direction of the tracks here. I mean, the zebra is not the problem, it's the stupid Emolga that's the problem, because it's like it's strong against my whole team here. And it's likely faster, well, maybe not faster than Mr. Norris, but like, maybe most of my other team, yeah. You might want to throw Dig on some of your Pokémon because that's uh, still going to be pretty good yield in this place. All right, critical hit. I don't think I really needed it, but anyway. Finish off this zebra here. All right, twenty nine here. Uh, another seventy six eighty for me. Nice. Ooh, this is a uh, actually great timing for this. This is just great timing here. And it evolves up to a croc rock. Those cool like sunglasses there. Cool pose. I'm trying to look in style here. Uh, that actually might help me a lot here to get the evolution here. Oh, uh, stats are a little bit better here. And the fact is, this thing evolves again, so the Evil Light still works well for this thing. Because it only works on Pokemon that can still evolve. So. Alright, let's go into the roller coaster here. Whoa. Okay, I think we're almost at the end here. Um, a little bit more to go through here. Yeah, you got to battle all the trainers here, so uh, no skipping anything. Is Crunch strong enough here? Let's see if Crunch has enough punch to take this thing out. No, it's not. Oh my goodness. Alright, um... I don't know if I should just heal this up here. Uh, 
Uh, oh, jeez. I really wonder if I should just heal this. Okay, at least I made it through that. Okay, I can heal this up after the battle, so... Alright, get through that battle. Um, if you have a Zep Striker with you, you are basically almost clear to go through this gym. I mean, seriously. You're almost clear to go through. And the big loop-de-loop. -loop. Doesn't this thing have seatbelts or something? I mean, it's almost like you fall out of a, the cart there or something. Okay, we're gonna do some healing here. Uh, but yeah, you know, you bring a Zep Striker with you, you're basically clear to go. Alright, um, let's see, I'm gonna give Eevee Light to Super Jaws here because, again, it still, um, it still works. Okay, and again, most of my Pokémon are gonna be pretty useless for this battle here. Um, really, only my Super Jaws can really take these hits here. Everything else is gonna get, like, totally pwned here. Okay, uh, a little bit later here, uh, took a few moments there, um, I'm gonna do something interesting here. I'll put my little Blitzly in front, which is not gonna last long, but we'll see what I can do with it. Notice the big gear behind it, look at that, that's a interesting. Okay, time to face Alessa. Like she's sitting down all relaxed with like what looks like headphones, like her MP3 player or something. And again, not surprisingly, she has electric type Pokemon, and uh, she has two of these Emolgas, um, which is going to be a bit of a problem for me. Uh, luckily, she's not being smart and using Aerial Ace, which would definitely two hit KO my. Zebra here. So I'll get off a Thunder Wave. Let's see if I can get off some damage here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll try a, I guess, Shock Wave. Get some damage on board here. Which is like nothing. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh my zebra. I'm just gonna let my Blitzly go down here. Uh, both these Emolgas have, um, this, the move you get here is like Volt Change, uh, Aerial Ace, um, Quick Attack, and Pursuit. And I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna use Quick Attack. So, um, might as well just get some more damage on board here. Uh, but the move, yeah, the move you get from this gym is a move called, uh, Volt Change. Oh, read that right. Here go my zebra. Okay, um, you know, I'm gonna take a chance here. I'm gonna send in my top floater here and hopefully get lucky. Let's see how much uh, damage Psybeam can load on here. Alright, thank you, Paralysis Hacks. Get the KO right here. Yay for tight mismatches. Alright, Tough Floater is going to be, uh... Gonna have a bright future ahead of him here. Especially with the amount of experience he just got there. And as I mentioned, she has two Emolgas, and now I may not want to stay in for this one. Uh, 
so I'm just gonna um, throw in my true ace here. Now, unless that kind of runs off of a hit-and-run strategy, you know, we'll change if you're familiar with U-Turn. Uh, same concept. Now, Rock Tomb, at least lower speed, so it gives me the speed advantage here. And again, it's a distance move, so I don't have to worry about static either. And I'm pretty much clear to go now. Uh, last up, she's got a Zep Strike, uh, uh, evolved form of Blitzly. But yeah, as I mentioned, she goes off kind of a hit and run strategy with that Volt Change. Uh, the problem is, she can't use it here. Uh, Blitzly, both of its abilities absorb electric attacks, and, uh,. Super Jaws just blocks off electric attacks. But it can get kind of annoying with the hit and run here. Alright, uh, I'm gonna throw in Mr. Norris here. See if I can get some uh, damage here. I mean, I can always switch back, but, you know, Mr. Norris has the amulet coin, so I'll give me double money here. Oh, great. Paralysis. Alright, at least I'm breaking through it here. Uh, I think that's out of healing range. I don't think she's going to use a Hyper Potion here, actually. Um, well, that Spark did not do much damage at all here, actually. So even a Critical would not take out Mr. Norris. So I can, uh... I think I'll try another shot here. If it's paralyzed, I can switch to Super Jaws for the finish here. Alright, Mr. Norris, breaking through there. Ha ha ha. Yeah, who got who got spun out now? Oh, look at this! Yeah, you're speechless. I know my my skill is just uh, you know my style is too good here, and you're just totally left in shock by it. Cha ching! She's like total awe now. Is still gushing at you know how awesome my style was here. Oh, it's called Volt Switch. Okay, uh, sorry, got the r name uh, wrong here. Uh, I think originally it was Volt Change. I think in the Japanese version, maybe. Um, no, they call it Volt Switch. Uh, same concept, but um, it's not a bad move actually. It's a decently powerful move, so use it if you. Uh, it, it may be good for like competitive battling where, you know, you don't have to waste time switching. Alright, uh, so that is it for the fourth gym. We got our badge there, and, um, next part we'll continue on our way. Alright, see you guys later.